Hi everyone, thanks for watching this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made this wet sole. And you can as well make this type of sole you are seeing now. So let's jump to the video. What I'm holding now is called the uh, Marco and Cardboard. The black thing you are seeing now is called Marco, Marco 2. Then uh, what I place on it is called the uh, insole template. What I'm doing now is called insole. So once I'm through with the insole, I'll start working on the sole. After trimming this uh, cardboard, the next thing is to apply gum on the cardboard, both right and left. After applying gum on the cardboard, then the next thing is to set set it on each other then after setting it the next is to take it to the file machine so what i'm doing here is to make sure that both the right leg and the left leg have the same size and same shape please when you are filing it don't file it to the extent that the, it will now reduce the size of the insole. So the next thing is to place on lining. Then when you are sketching it, make sure there is excess 
so that we'll be able to fold it. So after eating it with mallet, the next thing is to take it to the uh, filing machine so that you can make the surface of the lining that is under the, yes, like this one, so you make it rough so that gum can work effectively on it.
so now by doing this we are through with our insole the next thing is to is to start working on the sole so this is the sole the name of this sole is called nora 3.8 so this is the sole template then after sketching this sole the same thing I did on the insole by applying gum under the insole and placing it on, on each other. The same thing, is, you do the same thing on this sole also. So what I'm holding now is called A, and uh, you can also call it Nigerian Nora. So the measurements I'm showing you, you can use 3 inches by 3 inches. 3 inches by 3 inches, okay. So what I'm applying gum on is called wet 4.
after applying gum on this sole, the next thing is to set the insole on this sole so that the wet will be in the right place. So this best place to start fixing the welt is the place I'm just pointing at now. That's the best place to start fixing weight on the sole. After hitting it with hammer, the next thing is to fix the heel under the sole.
so uh, if you have dye you can use dye if you don't have that you can use polish the way i'm doing it now So if you have any question, please don't hesitate to ask me any question. I'll be glad to answer you. You can drop your comments in the comment section. Thanks for watching this, this video. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe, like and click on the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I drop another video. Thanks for watching this video.